Hi, I'm Karen Mulvaney and this is 5 Craigford Avenue, Dublin 5. This is an absolutely amazing property and I'm so excited to show it to you. But before we start, just to give you an idea, you head down that direction and you can turn right there where all those beautiful cherry blossoms are and you're heading into the back of Colester. Um, in th this direction, you turn left, again you're into Colester, turn right, you're on the Malahide Road. The convenience of this location is absolutely incredible. You've got multiple bus routes there, multiple bus routes there. Um, we've got the Colester Dart, it's just absolutely fantastic. A really settled kind of area as well. Um, we've sold on this road before and it is so popular, absolutely fantastic. So what we've got to show you is a very large three bed with an ensuite plus attic conversion, two reception rooms. We've also got a conservatory, gas central heating, approximately 110 square, square meters, but we haven't measured it up exactly just yet. And we're on market for 475. So come on in and we're going to show you this beauty. So you're coming in the porch hallway into the original front door, which I think is so cute, really full of character. You've got an unusual shape here. So you've an awful lot of space here in the hall. Uh, this house is alarmed. You've got beautiful wooden flooring. My favorite room of the house. Let's go in and take a look. So this is your front living room, which I just think is absolutely beautiful. You've got a kind of a, not, not necessarily a, a box bay because it's not a full box, but you've got a window to the side here overlooking the, the porch there and the front as well. Loads of space in this room, beautiful open fireplace, an absolutely gorgeous room, really, really lovely. Walking condition. Back out into the hall. We have understairs storage here and into reception room number two. Another really, really beautiful, bright room. So this would have originally been the back of the house. So we have patio doors here at the back, but it leads into the conservatory. Um, we have an electric fire, which obviously can be taken out and replaced because the, the, the chimney breast is still there. Um, again, a really lovely, bright room because of all that glass at the back. And of course, the direction that we're in as well, being southeast. Um, so we're walking into the kitchen. This would have, this is again, original size. So it's not huge, but there's tons of potential here. So we have all wall and floor units here. Absolutely perfect. Um, we have the reception room in here. Well, I mean, very simple job is just to knock this wall and have one big open kitchen dining space or knock it, the whole thing out completely and have an enormous extension. Not that you actually need it because to be fair, it's perfectly functional as it is. So this room is used, this conservatory is used as dining. And then behind you, you've got utility, dishwasher and fridge as well. And you can see the gas um, boiler there too. Loads of glass, loads of light and double doors leading us out into this beautiful southeast facing garden. Now bear in mind, it's actually a very dull day, so you can just get a, a sense of the light from here. Um, we're going to walk down and show you the garage because the garage is an amazing feature of this house. Um, absolutely huge. Uh, rear access at the back, leading you straight out onto a lane. Um, and actually, while we're down here, if you can swing around and just have a look at the house itself, it's uh, super, super space, really lovely. So into this garage here. Now, there are loads of things in here. Obviously, it's all going to be cleared out for sale. But just to give you an idea of the sense of space, it's just huge. We've double doors leading out into the lane. This could be converted into home office gym, uh, Shomra, the little apartment subject to planning. It's just got so much potential, this house. And I just love that garden. Absolutely love it. So let's head upstairs and take a look. So you're coming up a, a slight turn in the stairs. I actually love the way the stairs turns here. This is an exceptionally wide stairway. You've got fresh, brand, sorry, fresh carpet, brand new carpet, freshly painted walls, uh, straight up onto the landing. And in behind you, you've got the most beautiful shower room. Have a look at that bathroom. It's just gorgeous. Um, WC, wash down basin, heated towel rail, 
and a gorgeous walk-in shower. Absolutely stunning. Back out onto the landing and in to the back here, you've got the master bedroom. So really spacious room. These are not fitted wardrobes, but check this out. So unusual for a house of this age. You've got an ensuite. So again, WC wash hand basin and a walk-in shower as well. So beautiful view over the back garden. So the back garden is southeast facing and you can see the depth of the garage there at the back from here as well. And you're literally straight out onto the lane. So absolutely beautiful bedroom here. Gorgeous wooden flooring, uh, lovely and spacious and back out into the landing. So you can see the attic stairs there going up into the attic room. Now to the front of the house, this could be a bigger bedroom actually. It's absolutely huge as well. This is a small double in here. They're, they're, they're similar in size. Um, again, wooden flooring, freshly painted walls, overlooking the front, a really big spacious double bedroom. And back out into the landing again. And we're going into our large single. So because of the return on the stairs, you've got, if you come in here, you can see you've actually got a little dip there. So it's kind of, it's a three quarter wardrobe. It starts from the bottom here. So we've got again, wooden flooring overlooking the front, nice single bedroom. And we're gonna head up into the attic here, from here. So you're coming up the attic stairs here. You've loads of ceiling height here. You've also got a window leading into the bedroom itself. So it's giving you loads of light into that room. Up here on the, on the landing for the attic room, you've got Eve storage, huge amount of storage space here. And then you're coming into the bedroom with electric heating, with more Eve storage here. Eve storage over there and even though this is set out as a single bedroom you can see like there's a huge couch in here there's tons of space loads and loads of light with two Velux windows and uh, I think this is a cracker so essentially this is your fourth bedroom uh, two bathrooms and um, it's absolutely fantastic but anyway this completes the accommodation for upstairs so just to summarise, this is 5 Craigford Avenue, Dublin 5. We are talking three beds, one ensuite, an attic bedroom as well, two reception rooms, this gorgeous room at the front and the other beautiful room at the back, um, a conservatory. There's so much accommodation in this house. There's so much space. It's absolutely fantastic. The real clincher for me is that southeast facing garden. I mean, it just is so secluded and so beautiful, but also having that extra space at the back with the garage and the lane as well. So on market for 475, be your to follow. Exact measurements will be on the brochure. Um, and for more information, go to kmproperty.ie.